Today's video is going to be around related parts to specific products. Um, so if you've got a product um, within your product express list that you have related parts to it, whether it be parts that make up the product or just related parts to the product such as a computer that um, is always sold with a keyboard and a mouse pad and so on, you can have those parts within that product under its related parts. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to jump into a product and we're going to go into the product express list and simply search for the product. Uh, you can simply search by scrolling down um, or up in the search bar you can simply start typing in the product name. So either by pushing F5 will be the full product name, F6 starting with or F7 sounds like. But we're going to push F5 and do the full name. So we're going to search for our tractor and there's our tractor there. Double click on the product. And then this will open up the product card. Our related parts is going to be here within the product card. This tab here under related parts. Just go ahead and click on that. So this is where you would have your related parts to the product. Again, whether it's made up from that product and you sell those things individually or um, you know, combined with that product, um, as well as again, like selling a computer and you want to see a mouse pad and a graphics card or a keyboard with that product, you can put that in there. Um, so you can go ahead and add the part name um, as well as the quantity um, that you would like to sell related to this product. So these are the parts related to the tractor. Um, so whenever we sell one tractor, the four wheels goes with that five bin products. 52 bolts and one chassis goes with that tractor. So those are the related parts to that. Um, a whole bunch of options here. You can hide on print. Um, you can delete in the POS. Is it hidden? Um, pallet container. Um, quantity when zero. Adjust the quantity in sales. A, a whole bunch of information there. As well as that, you can copy related parts from other products. So copy from and you can choose the product that you would like to copy this from. So you can either go and create new or you can copy from another product. So the options here being delete existing related parts when copied from, um, append the related parts or replace if the same related parts exist. So you do have that option, but bear these copy options in mind. So select that carefully. But anyway, so that's how you add your related parts. Just simply type in the part name and the quantity that's related to that part. But um, let's go ahead and see how that looks within an invoice. So just jump out of there. So when we now go ahead and create that invoice, we can, let's just say, select a customer here. And we're going to select that product. Are. There's the product, the tractor, manufacturers under hardware and John Deere tractor. So we're going to say yes, select that product and it's going to load those related parts. Um, when I select to order um, however many tractors, the related parts will automatically load the required amounts as shown. So just go ahead and let's say one of those. And those will then automatically load as shown. So one tractor um, will, there will be a related part of one chassis, 52 bolts, as well as a bin product and four wheels. So that'll load um, automatically as its related parts and will have to do with the tractor. So however many tractors, that'll load the required amounts. Um, and then we're going to just go ahead and save that. And there we go, and that's how your related parts will work within the product list. Um, again, just showing if you go into any product, you can simply go within the product card to those related parts and specify what is related to that specific product. As simple as that. I hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching.